Oh, surgeon skill. Really? Like that's gonna do anything? Okay. Uh, let me just open up the app. Yeah, it's gonna say it's gonna be blurry things. So it's connected, but okay. So I done that. So I think we are ready. We are ready to go. I'm all stocked up and ready to go. Oh, what the fuck? I apologize. So yeah, I think we're ready to go. I got all my stuff. Oh, oh yeah. That's the other thing I was going to do. The skills. Wait, who just... Was it Jay? Oh yeah, he's got four. Uh, I still need a level like... Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely need to level up my computer science because it's still only like 30% when I when I do everything. So okay. There you are, Team Echo, just in time. Welcome. What? What's going on? I'll give a more detailed briefing in a moment, but Mer Captain tells me Lieutenant Woodson will be sending us a live feed any second. What I will yeah. tell you now is that we have sent Woodson with Ranger Team Foxtrot to Los Angeles to establish a base of operations. And so far, things are going well. We're going to LA. Hours, they have found a water source oh, that bar really pisses me off. It's like blocking off the view of the characters. Once they found it, you, Team Echo, will follow to help reinforce there we our go. presence there and learn more about the Sorry, that blur, that blurry box on the top is my phone connecting. It's notifying me that my phone's connected to the, uh, to the system. But, anyways, you're coming out of that feed, Any Captain. Second, John. Unfortunately, until we connect with the source of that powerful Los Angeles signal, contact with Woodson on the ground will be impossible. Only a radio operating above 2,000 feet is capable of receiving signals from Arizona over the intervening mountains. We have arranged to call at this hour while Chopper 1 is in flight in the hope of surmounting that we... Ah, oh, looks like that signal is coming in now. Sweet. Thank you, Mayor Captain. Put it on the speakers. Very good, sir. Just one moment. Let me plug in my aux cord. Chopper 1, this is Ethel Mer Captain at Citadel Base. Relaying your feed to the General. Do you read me? Roger Citadel Bay, reading you loud and clear. Oh, that's what they wanted Angela to do. I was like, why do they take her? They never said anything. How do, Angela? Tell me what you're seeing. Oh, I hope I get her back. She was actually pretty. Her her assault rifle skill was up there. Roger, General. This is our first flight heading west of Santa Fe Springs, and so far it's more the same. Just like yesterday. I know I keep going on about it, but this place is huge. The ruins go on for hundreds of miles. Hundreds. Smoke from chinnies, far, farming in empty lots. Locals coming out to look up at a chopper. Nothing big yet. Holy shit. Excuse me, General, but I'm sorry. Just made visual contact with a, a large body of water. What? Huh? I've never... General, I think I'm looking at the Pacific Ocean. I've never... Death and death. I have visual on some larger structures. On your two, field beach coordinates. Roger, pilot, I see him. General, we're coming up on, well, kind of looks like a warehouse or a factory, but I've never seen Captain, structures are occupied. Repeat, occupied. I have visual on unidentified bogies on ground to the south and west. Go ahead, Joey, but take it slow. I want Roger, Captain. Are we going to listen to her gas? Because I feel like she's going to die. Seeing some impressive stuff here, General. Place looks to be in good repair and well maintained. Fresh coat of paint and everything. Looks like there's a large community growing up around it too. Some kind Hopefully of this this feels like the walking dead, like, uh hope these are not bad guys. Clean visual and bogies. I ma'am. 
I don't think they're human. Oh, great. After I jinxed it. Coordinates, Violet. Coordinates. I don't want to... Oh, they're robots, oh, damn it. They look like robots. Ah, I knew it. General, we got eyes on the bogeys in the compound, and they're robots. Big robots. More than twice the size of any robot I've ever seen. And most definitely... What the fuck is a robot going to do with water? Weapon and targeting system. Tell them to get out of there, Mer Captain. I don't like the sound of that. Yes, General. Chopper 1, pull out. Captain, we are being targeted. Recommend to face 10-4, pilot. Hardaway North, heading 008. Bogey's firing, Captain! We have one, three... West two points. Climb! Still on our tail, Captain! Jesus, fuck! What kind of pets are we dealing with here? Oh, wait. Mayday! Mayday! We are hit! What we did I say? Angela, I... God damn it, Angela. Listen to that, I gave us only like 50 XP. So... Either Angela's dead, or we're gonna have to go find her. Yeah, our mission is to find her body. I... Not right now, Echo One. Find me in the lab later if you need something. <laughs> She's like, bitch, please. To hear, to hear brave men and women on an errand of peace. Oh, Forgive God. me. I don't know who did this or why. Uh, obviously, we not allow it to turn us from our mission. Indeed, it has only increased my determination to establish the rule of law in Los Angeles. If the savages there are in possession of such terrifying firepower, then we are needed. The people must be freed from t Team Echo. You will fly to the base Team Foxtrot established in Santa Fe Springs and continue the work they began. Okay. Establish our base of operations, make contact with the locals, and find a radio tower that will allow the outpost to maintain contact. Secondly, you have two primary tactical objectives. First, you will look for the source of the God's Militia and Children of the Citadel broadcast that we have been hearing, and brief us on what you find. Second, you will find out who or what shot down Chopper 1. So you don't want me to find if she's even still alive, or what? He kind of he kind of was like, you know what, I'm kind of glad she died, but if anybody else goes there, you're going to have to stop this for us, guys. Finally, but perhaps most importantly, you will do your best to win the hearts and minds of the LA natives. No, I'll, I'll definitely fuck it up. Them to trust the desert See, this is a real good RPG. It would make you like... It wouldn't make you try to be a good guy. Because that's what the game's trying to do. And if you don't... And there's two ways of doing things. And if you don't do it the good way, you're kind of doing it the wrong way. It'll take us some time to put together all the supplies needed for your journey. So if you have any unfinished business in Arizona, or if you need to stock up on arms, armor, and ammo, now is the time to do it. I already did it. If you go to LA, you will not be returning here until your primary missions are accomplished. That's all I have to say. Any questions? Watch out for that group. They seem to be calling for open warfare against the rest of the world. Keep your rifles clean and your powder dry. Shit, I should have I should have done this before I went to um, Darwin's Village because Darwin's Village really didn't do anything. Your investigations, they sound dangerous and unstable. Great work, Echo One. There's no way we can deal with crises on two fronts right now. At least the truce buys us time to focus. Oh. Report to the helicopter pad when you are ready, and we'll send you on your way. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, so we can already go, so I don't have to wait. So, in case... In case I, uh... Go through the game and realize I should have went to go do something, I have a user save there. Get to the chopper! Uh... Yeah, because I don't want to... I increased my computer science skill. Now it's at seven. I guess I could go back, but I don't want to. Wow, way to boost my uh, confidence, guys.
What is behind there? Come on. Oh man, I really want to know what's behind there. I have a zero percent on everything. So it must be like a key to open it. Okay, well we're ready to go, so head back to Ranger Settle for a new assignment unless we unless we hit a detour. Oh, we can bring people with us. That's cool. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that cow one. I feel like that one's just stupid. Just stupid. So, um... There's really only... How many people are really can I bring with us? Got a minute to talk about volunteers, or just here, or just here to go. Uh, we have, we haven't found any new recruits, but we'll keep looking. There's that little boy, and then there's this fucking scientist. I don't know what happened to that little boy. Rose is the only person. What does she have for uh So she's got on handguns. What it takes twelve gauge ammo? What the fuck? So yeah, she's a handgun person. Sorry. Uh, only eleven uh, sorry. Oh, she is only left. She will die. I guess I should have just brought her with us. So. Yeah, what is this elevator to? Would be a hell of a plot twist if you found out you were the bad guys. Be like a fifth wave. You know, I watched that movie, and the the plot twist was okay. I mean, it was, it was it was an interesting plot twist, and then I was like, I just don't really like that movie. Probably one of the worst post-apocalyptic movies I've ever seen. Oh, he's right there. Listen up, Rangers. This helicopter can still hold more personnel. If you want, you can take some of the companions you've recruited during your trip. Otherwise, let me know if you're ready to fly. Ready. Sure. Yes, god damn it, yes! Oh, that's what the purpose of loading a save game is for. That's what a second save is for. I mean, if I find out... You know, if I find out anybody else... I don't have any more recruits. Because if I find out any more people, I'll go do it. That'd be cool if you bring Dan forth with you, that'd be awesome. As their helicopter rises, baby, if you ever get it, or you wait, so it is ever you wait, so. Sounds like robots. Speaking of blood and bayonets, a golden future and the end of days, a perfect, the perfection of man. 